Pastor Jadel, and welcome again to another episode of Everyday Jesus. Thank you again so much for being with us today. I know that you are so excited to worship the Lord and to get to know Him more by reading His Word. So let's do our prayer magnets and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this very wonderful day that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, that we can get to know you more by reading your word and worship you with all of our hearts. We love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus is the best. So let's all stand up and let's worship with Everyday Jesus. Hi, kids. It's time to worship the Lord today. So why don't we all stand up? One, two, three. Jesus! Yeah! Woo! Every day, Jesus, I will praise you. Every day, Jesus, I will worship you. Every day, Jesus, I will love you. Every day, Jesus. Every day, Jesus, I will praise you. Every day, Jesus, I will worship you. Every day, Jesus. I will love you every day, Jesus. Jesus, every day, you're there for me. Jesus, every day, your love surrounds me. Jesus, every day, your grace flows to me. Every day, Jesus. Jesus, every day, you're there for me. Jesus, every day, your love surrounds me. Jesus, every day, your grace flows to me. Every day, Jesus. Every day, Jesus. I will praise you. Every day, Jesus. I will worship you. Every day, Jesus. I will love you. Every day, Jesus. Every day, Jesus. I will praise you. Every day, Jesus. I will worship you. Every day, Jesus. I will love you. Every day. Hello kids! 
So did you enjoy worship time with Pastor Gary and Pam? I know you did. So right now it's time for a Bible story. And I know that you know what to bring when it's Bible story time, right? You need to get your Bible and of course your journal and your favorite card pen. And when you're ready, then we can recite our rule time. Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, mouth silent. Very good job, everybody. Now, our Bible story for today talks about the very early church and how the gospel spread. So please open your Bibles in the book of Acts, chapter 11, verses 19 to 26. Now, those who had been scattered by the persecution in connection with Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, telling the message only to Jews. Some of them, however, men from Cyprus and Cyrene, went to Antioch and began to speak to Greeks also, telling them the good news about the Lord Jesus. The Lord's hand was with them, and a great number of people believed and turned to the Lord. News of this reached the ears of the church at Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the evidence of the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all to remain true to the Lord with all their hearts. He was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith, and a great number of people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. So for a whole year, Barnabas and Saul met with the church and taught great numbers of people. The disciples were called Christians first at Antioch. Right, so this is the first time, kids, that we hear about the word Christians in the Bible. So as you can see, there was a persecution that happened because Stephen died. He was stoned to death. But it did not stop the early believers to tell people about the good news of Jesus Christ. So at that time, not only the Jews heard about the good news, but also the Greeks. And there is a great number of people coming to the Lord for repentance, getting to know Jesus as Lord and Savior, receiving the good news of God for themselves. Wow, what a great Bible story for today, right? And you know that you can also be a messenger of the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. Always tell someone that Jesus came to bring good news, and that is the forgiveness of our sins through His sacrifice on the cross. All right? So I hope that you learned a lot in our Bible story for today. Now, are you ready for some question and answer? Very good job. Question number one. Can you give me one place where the disciples went to preach the gospel? Can you give me one place where the disciples went to preach the gospel? And we mentioned a lot in our Bible story. You got it? Very good job. Question number two. The church in Jerusalem heard about the big number of people coming to the Lord, Jews and Greeks alike. So who did the church send? Who did the church send to Antioch to follow up on the new believers? You got that one? Very nice. Question number three. Who did Barnabas send for in Tarsus? Who did Barnabas send for in Tarsus? You got it? Very good job. And question number four. Last but not the least, and your application question. Can you think of someone whom you want to share the good news of Jesus to? Write their name and then ask for your siblings or mommy and daddy's help to share to them the good news this week. 
Can you think of someone whom you wanted to share the good news? So write their name and ask your siblings or mommy and daddy to help you share the good news to this person. You got it? Very good job! So thank you again so much for listening to our Bible Story Kids. I hope that you learned a lot. See you again next time! Hello kids! I am Pastor Ruth. How are you? That's great! Did you enjoy our Bible story? Awesome! Today, I have something here that you may or may not have used already. It's a basketball! Yes, and people use this to play basketball with their friends. Have you tried playing this? Wow, great! Basketball is a very fun sport to play, especially when you have plenty of friends and it's a sunny day. Basketball is played by using two teams with five members in each team. Wow, that's a lot of kids to play with. And even if there's a lot of people or players in this game, they all want to have a goal. And what is that goal? That is to shoot the ball into the ring. All five players in one team work together to snatch the ball from the other team and shoot it into the ring. You know what kids? This reminds me of our Bible story about Paul and Barnabas who worked together in teaching the church in Antioch about Jesus. And because they work hand in hand, the church grew so much in number and many people became believers of Jesus. In Ecclesiastes 4 verses 9 to 10, it says there that two people are better than one, for they can help each other to succeed. If one person falls, then the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble, right? Working together is very important, especially when we have a goal that we want to achieve. For the basketball players, their goal is to shoot the ball as many times into the ring. For Paul and Barnabas, their goal is to bring more people to Jesus Christ. Paul and Barnabas did not only work together, but they worked hard together. If the basketball players in a team did not work hard together, do you think they will achieve their goal? I don't think so, but Paul and Barnabas know that their goal is very important. So like good friends, they helped and supported each other. As a result, they achieved their goal. And many people came and believed in Jesus Christ. So kids, always remember to work hard together with your friends, not only in doing your schoolwork, your assignment, or in anything, but also and especially by sharing the good news of Jesus. I hope you learned something today in our segment. See you again next time! This is me again, Pastora Dry, and this is our Sing Along segment. So for today, we are going to sing a song about Jesus being our best friend. That's right. Who is Jesus? Our best friend. That's right. So today, are you ready to sing the song with me? Okay, so let's all stand up. Stand up, everybody, stand up, and let's worship the Lord together. Have you heard of the one called Savior? Have you heard of His perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard that He gave His Son?
So that's it for our song for today. God bless! Hi kids! This is Pastora Pat and it's time for our Did You Know segment. Today, Pastora will be sharing with you three things that we need to know from our today's Bible story. So, you know what to do, right kids? When Pastora says, did you know, you should say... That's right, you should say what? So kids, did you know that Barnabas was a good friend to Paul? Barnabas met Paul when he was still a new believer. In front of the suspicious church leaders in Jerusalem, Barnabas testified that Paul was truly a believer of Jesus Christ. Barnabas knew that Paul was a good believer who boldly preached the name of Jesus. This was why Barnabas wanted to work with Paul, his friend, in teaching the people about Jesus. Barnabas was a good friend to Paul. And kids, did you know that Paul and Barnabas worked together for one full year? Because Paul and Barnabas worked hard together for an entire year, the church in Antioch grew up. The Bible tells us that Paul and Barnabas taught large crowds of people. Hmm, I wonder if that was a crowd of 100, or 200, 300, or 1,000? Well, what's important is that because Paul and Barnabas worked together, many people became believers of Jesus. Paul and Barnabas worked together for one full year. And kids, did you know that the word Christian was used to describe the believers in Antioch? There were so many people in Antioch who believed in Jesus Christ that they began to call them Christians. Did you know that this was the first time the name Christian was used to describe a person who was a believer of Jesus Christ? And until today, Believers of Jesus Christ are still called Christians. The word Christian was used to describe the believers in Antioch. So, those are the three things that we need to know from our today's Bible story. First, Barnabas was a good friend to Paul. Second, Paul and Barnabas worked together for one full year. And third, the word Christian was used to describe the believers in Antioch. So, I guess that's it for now for our Did You Know segment. I hope that you learned a lot, kids. See you again! Hi, kids! This is Pastora Armira. Are you ready to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes, our verse for today is Proverbs 27. 17 and it says there as iron sharpens iron so a friend sharpens a friend now what is a good friend now the bible says that a good friend is someone who helps you become a better person and he will always encourage you to do what is right now let's learn our memory verse song today Well, let's all stand up and join me today. As iron sharpens iron, so a friend 
sharpens a friend as iron sharpens iron. So a friend sharpens a friend. Proverbs. Proverbs twenty seven seventeen. Proverbs. Proverbs twenty seven seventeen. As iron sharpens iron. So a friend sharpens a friend as iron sharpens iron. So a friend sharpens a friend. Proverbs. Proverbs twenty seven seventeen. Proverbs. Proverbs twenty seven seventeen. Yay! Very good, kids. I hope you learned something today. That's it for Memory Verse Song. This is Pastora Armira. Hope to see you again next time. Hi, kids. I hope that you enjoyed our Everyday Jesus program for today. And I pray that you will always be a messenger or a bringer of good news to everyone who needed to hear it. All right? So before we do close in prayer, let's first remember our three prayer requests. First prayer request is for God to give our government officials wisdom and knowledge so that they can make the best decisions for our country. Prayer request number two is always for our parents, that God will always bless and prosper the work of their hands and for God to always provide for all our needs according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And prayer request number three is your own prayer request. What do you want Jesus to do for you? And you know that my prayer request for you is that you will always be a good kid, that you will always be a blessing to everyone around you, and that you will be fruitful and productive. So let's close in prayer. Let's do our prayer magnets. And let's pray. Let's say, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this very wonderful day that you have given us. Help us, Lord, to be a messenger of the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray, Lord, for our government. We pray for wisdom and understanding for them to make the best decisions for our country. We also pray, Lord, that you bless and prosper the work of the hands of our parents that we will always be provided for and protected for even during this time. And I also pray, Lord, that you will continue to bless each and every one of us, the kids, Lord God, that we will continue, God, to grow deeper and stronger in you, that we will be fruitful and productive, and that, God, we will always be a blessing to everyone around us. We love you so much, Lord, and may you always give us our heart's desire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus is the best. Thank you again so much, kids. And see you again next time here at Everyday Jesus. <music>